just arrived at strength therapy. Got a day lined up with Ed Cohen. Got to learn and pick up some good tips. Work on our bench, squat and deadlift. Covering powerlifting, nutrition, sleep, hydration, programming, you name it, we're covering it. So, looking forward to it. Are you looking forward to it, Matt? Oh, I can't wait, mate. <laughs> Special so guest. Excited. Yeah. Right, well, we better get out of the car and get in. Sh show him our train, baby roll. Exactly. You're using the roll. Because, see, it does, because what you're doing before is you're using only mainly knee flexion. You weren't yeah. using any hip flexion. Yeah. So this is bending, so it's easy to go down with that. Yeah, yeah. But once you do that, now everything comes into play and there will be a stop. Yeah, exactly. You guys take your cues really well. Yeah. Eventually, as you get a little stronger, you'll, you'll take your stance out a little bit. Yeah, but... Yeah, I don't know why it's going to feel like it's more fun to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A good practice has everything to do with your hips. Yeah, yeah but see, if you're here, you just go like this. It does, if you keep your feet straight, Yeah. keep your feet straight, and then just keep turning them out, you'll start feeling your glutes firing. That means you're using your hips. So the more the more straight you are, the more quad it is only. This allows for, putting them out allows for more hip rotation. So what works now is not going to take you to another level. You want. So you have to make a change. You never make like a big change. The little ones, then you're in your spot. And it's always going to be changing. Take this one a little more aggressively. Go after it, especially on the way down. Control to be aggressive at the same time. What, what happens when you go down too slow is you end up thinking too much on the way down. So yes. you're anticipating something instead of actually going after it. Yeah. Yeah. Good setup. Squeeze it all together. We're on a lunch break. Where are we? Tim Hortons. I used to go here quite a lot when I was in America. We're joined by Instagram's finest. Hello. So we're halfway, there, halfway through our powerlifting seminar with uh, Ed Cohen. We've benched and we've squatted. Yep. Me and Matty are taking it a little bit easy because of our biceps. So we've got uh, we'll have to put in a, we'll have to put in a shift now, aren't we, with deadlifts? Yeah, I mean. All carrying slight injury, so yeah. From our first lunch break, Tim Hortons for Americano just before we hit deadlifts. We've asked for a bit of an energy boost. 
think that's the Boston cream. I think she's got two no, Boston cream. Chocolate for me. It's chocolate, mate. Have you ever seen a Boston cream? It's chocolate with cream in the middle. Oh, that's yours. Oh, that's a donut. That's the Boston cream, I'm telling you. Oh, I've been to Boston, I know what they are. Boston. And then you got Eddie Adley's. God. That looks like it's got jam smothered all in it. So a little pick me up. We've done squats, we all hit sets each, and Ed goes around and he just critiques you, gives you some feedback. We both all worked up to 140. Eddie, that's good swap I reckon we're all going to be shooting for PBs on the deadlift it's next. Just to get out. Come on. I want one of them Boston Green ones. We have our beat. Yeah, we're our beat. Yeah, who's where you want it? Can't take him anywhere. I'm not sure about that. I'm not. You're not. Yours got jam in it? No. <laughs> yeah, that's. Oh, there is jam. Swap. Cream's my favourite. There is jam. Well, right, do another one, Johnny. Three. I think it's all going to go everywhere. Two. One. Mm. I love Boston creams. I reckon. That's an extra 10 kg on my deadlift, I think. I've got one night in the tank. Okay. With a few extra tips, we'll see. Anyway, about time we uh, drank these bad boys. We'll see you on the other side. There you go. Now get your head up. Now go. Pull it in as fast as you can. Yep, try to hit yourself in the nuts. You may have to pull it up high. <laughs> <laughs> you see how your adductors are on fire now? That's how you use your adductors. That's where your sumo deadlift is, is adductors. Actually, when I taught Duffin how to do that, is you grab the bar, you pull against the bar, and you wiggle your hips in closer. What that does is it locks your adductors ready to push, but it also activates your hips. So right away, instead of your hips having to work at the end, they work right at the beginning. So your whole body is into the movement at once. <laughs> well, that was one, one out of, that was one out of three. So. Keep it in closer. Use your hips real early. That's better. The smaller brother will attempt the same weight. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds better with American accent, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> same way, up and in. In. Nice. Way better than Who your brother. Who did it better? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Way better than the ugly brother. I'm younger too. <laughs> that was better. Uh, at your start, you can keep the weight a little bit closer to you. Yeah. You're like pushing your shins out to the weight instead of keeping yeah, it closer. Okay. That was it, everything else was really, really good. Chin, chin, chin. Mom. Hips. Mom. Not too bad. Try to get a little bit more push out of your legs on the bottom. You're doing a lot of pulling, so that's popping your butt up. Get a little more push on the bottom, it'll activate the hips right away. So the hips will come forward. Come on. Strength therapy, head colored, learned lots and lots. 
and now we're going to treat ourselves with a nice taste of that, guys. I've gone for a double cheeseburger. Size of that. It's a long, long, exhausting day. Not much food. Lots of heavy weights. Brains a bit frazzled. So we've got to reward ourselves. We'll get back on it later. So, um, what's the Let's go quickly. What's the one thing you've learned from today? What's the main thing? Do you know what's get back? Oh, yeah. yeah. We ain't perfect. Mine is... Don't be all show, but no go. I like that one. Who says that? You did. All show, no go. Oh, you yeah. Still makes you happy. Yeah, it's like that one. Gym's your happy place. I feel like a lot of the teaching things that we learned today are really basic, but so effective. Looking forward to going back now to the to our own clients and implementing that in their training and our training. Oh yeah!